Hi friends, it's Michelle here from Seaweed Kisses and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have my Camel Traveler's Notebook set up for my upcoming trip. And to be honest, I'm actually recording this the day before I leave so I'm kind of really, really busy but I promised a few of you that I would share my setup and a few of you have already messaged me asking um, when that will go up. So let me go ahead and quickly flip through the setup and then I'll also show you how I put together the inserts because you're also I received some messages um, asking if I could show a step-by-step -step of how I um, connect my inserts and how they work so I'll um, show you that too so here is again the newer travelers notebook in camel this isn't the fifth edition and I have, do you guys remember this from my um, tr vacation setup video? I actually took this off of my last insert and put it here because I realized I didn't have another one. So I just used masking tape to tape it back here. And this is just kind of like a, if this is lost, it has uh, my uh, mailing address and my email. So hopefully, you know, it would be so nice to return it back for a reward. This is my first insert, it's the blank page. So that way I can just kind of freehand anything that I'd like. And then this is a craft folder that I have that I'll be inserting uh, receipts, brochures, you know, just fun travel ephemera. This is a card clear pockets pouch. This I'm going to use for uh, business cards from restaurants or any um, cute, coffee shops or stationery shop that I'd like to revisit or maybe just recommend to friends or write about on my blog. And then um, right here, you, there's a little pocket too. This is my second insert. It's blank as well. And if you're curious to know, it's the number three, the number three insert. Oh, you guys notice right here how it says Midori. This was actually when um, the Midori and Travelers company were still, um, I guess, partnering with the brand. But if you notice on the newer inserts, which I purchased, this just says Travelers Company. So I thought that was kind of um, interesting. And then right here on the back, you'll notice right here, um, the website's travelerscompany.com. And then on my older one, it's the Midori so I thought that was interesting. I've had this for, um, you know, a while, this new uh, older notebook. But here is going to be the clear zipper pouch where I put, like, my washi tape, my stickers, stamps, and then this little craft folder. Well, I shouldn't say it's not a craft folder. It's a cardstock folder that I made a few years back, a little DIY project. So just to um, put, you know, more stuff in there. And if you notice, compared to my brown Traveler's Notebook, I don't have the clear uh, pockets. I haven't had time to purchase them, so that's why I just kind of threw this together. But I, um, I'm i in the process of moving, so a lot of my stuff is packed up. But I realized that for this trip, I'm actually not going to bring my passport size Traveler's Notebook just because I didn't have time to make my own inserts um, to write down notes just because I've been so busy with moving um, and if anyone's moved you know how stressful and busy that could be but um, I just wanted to kind of take the time to use this as um, you know, a travel journal and for thoughts. So it's going to be a fun little challenge. I'll let you know how that goes. But okay, so now I will go ahead and show you how I add these all in and have these secured here. Okay. Okay, so for my setup, here are my two notebooks that I have. And I use the elastic band to connect them. Just find the middle here and then um, insert one and then find the middle in the second notebook and then go ahead and slip it through like so. Okay, so there you go. You have the band holding the two notebooks. 
So I'll just kind of set that aside and then, oh, actually not set that aside. We'll go ahead and put it in the Travers notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and loop this through the large elastic right here. Like that. And then just kind of spread it like that. Okay, and then for my craft folder here, I just slip that inside using this, the middle elastic. Like that. And then if you're like me, you want another folder. There's two ways you can do this as um, you've seen in my passport setup, you can slip this through right here between the two notebooks and go like so and hold it. Or another way, if you want the folder to be, um, you know, if you don't want this notebook in the middle, what I do is I just go ahead and use another connecting band or elastic band and then um, do the same thing but instead of using oh I guess you could use the middle you could use the middle or you could connect it with the oh sorry for the focus guys uh, or you could connect it with the the back um, cover flap but I just do it in the middle. And if it gets too bulky here, which I doubt because I don't really write on the very, very edge, but I can just always use this. And then for my clear zipper uh, card holder pouch, this is where I actually, um, I'll thread it through right here in between these two. It's a little tricky because you kind of have to find, there we go. So it's like that. And everything is set up. And it's nice because it's not too bulky. It still closes easily. And then you can just go ahead and secure it with your, um, the elastic like so. And that is my setup. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to be subscribed to be notified on how my setup looks after my return. I'm going to have all of my journalings in here, let you know my thoughts and I'll actually share some of my pages because I received so many messages asking me um, to share my last trip pages, but some of them were personal. I had pictures in there and friends that I met up with, so I just didn't really... Um, you know, feel comfortable. I didn't know if um, they would care if I had their faces showing and whatnot, but I promise when I return, I will share pages with you, um, anything that worked and what didn't work, and then also maybe some clips from my trip. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!